Hello, holy crap, everybody, and welcome back to Let's Play Tactics Ogre. Uh, I don't think I really have an objective, but I think... Oh, I thought an event was going to trigger as soon as I moved. I mean, now that the dude... Oh, good. Leonar is in charge. Hmm. I don't know, we beat up a few of them. <laughs> he was holding the team together and pitting us against each other. True. Maybe we can apologize. A dream where Wallister turned against Wallister. What was it for? Back room? All right. So we have to fight everyone. Oh goodness, justice is on our side. Um, about that. Well, you rallied the troops. Go back to Balmamusa and kill... Okay. Okay, let's take them on. Yes, that also divides our strength, but uh, let's hear him out. Do as you're told, boy. Oh, goodness. I guess we get to decide when we get there. Maybe it'll make a mini-map? Okay. I'm a little unnerved at the weaknesses that were revealed in the party build. Okay. A nice new two-handed bow. This gives me something to think about for a moment. I wonder how hard it would be to craft an upgraded version of that. Also, how many balder bows are we using? Three. Canopus would be one of them, and he can't use two-handed bows. Well, let's fiddle around, shall we? So this is the last level of upgrades that we can do. Oh no, one more on that bow. But the heavy crossbows, oh no. I'm just making things up. Ignore everything I say, and welcome back. Okay. Pretty good success rate. Iron and steel ingots. I think that's pretty easy to do. We need three iron ore. Five iron ore and one graphite. Seems straightforward enough. Okay, we're gonna just hammer through this. Unfortunately, we're gonna need like a bazillion iron ores though. I wish you could just like crank up the quantity. Maybe I can. Well, okay. We'll do it one at a time and we'll talk. Because, uh, one thing I've been contemplating is making a Dragoon 
because we've neglected a couple classes, and there's a fun fact that you can consider about them. There's Beastmasters, and there's Dragoons. And we've been having a hard time fighting beasts and dragons. And there's a funny fact you might want to know about uh, those two classes. The Dragoon is super well suited to fighting both, actually. And the Beastmaster has uh, some advantage as well against beast enemies. Most of who we fight ends up being humans, but based on what just happened... Ugh. You were all there. You were with me on Mount Weobri. Alright, looking pretty good. That's probably still not enough, but... To the iron! Yeah, we're still short. It's amazing. But having one really nice composite bow I think will be worth it. Okay, so we're going to need five more iron ores. That's fine. I really wish you could just buy them directly. We're going to run out of inferior ore. Well, that's just really disappointing. Also, probably right now I will discover that we can just buy the advanced ores, and I've been wasting everybody's time. But we had a great talk. I had a good time. Copper ore? No ironic. That ore doesn't actually really go obsolete because of just how far you can go through the crafting process. I believe I've already mentioned this, but uh, there's a type of steel. Loot steel, there we go. That requires something like 27 crafting operations to make. But it can be done. All right, we're almost at the end of our journey. And then we're gonna have ourselves a wicked new bow and I have high hopes for it. Wait, did we even need that? I have forgotten. How embarrassing. But again, we had such a lovely talk. Oh. Well, that's okay. Everybody keep a nice positive attitude. We need more graphite. Provide the carbon. Steel is, of course, an alloy of iron and carbon. Iron actually is not a particularly strong material. It's extremely brittle and rusts really easily. So, like a lot of video games, They'll refer to iron as being better than bronze, which is typically like an entry-level thing. Dang it! But uh, bronze is actually much stronger. And has other useful properties. Again, usually though, I think when they talk about iron, they're really secretly referring to... Uh, steel, anyway. Alright, now we've finally done it. The journey is over. <laughs> All forever of it. I will cheat. I would save scum otherwise. Oh. F minus minus. I probably need to do something to change the RNG generator, so we'll just make another ore real quick. Make some more iron. Seems useful enough. I'm not sure if you lose all the materials or not. I don't... That's a very common mechanic in crafting systems and games, but I think it's kind of ridiculous, because... I mean, some of them maybe should be wrecked, but uh, not most. Alright, number one archer. That's a pretty easy decision to make. And composite bow plus one. 343 ranged attack. Pretty good. Also, I'm going to tinker with one last thing. I forget if I've mentioned this, but I think a tinker is actually a super racist term. Not how I'm using it. Hmm. Murden, hey? 
I guess I could craft a better ring, but you've already sat through enough of that. Well, Voltaire, you hardly see any action at all. So either her or... It's also tempting to maybe uh, upgrade my friend and yours, Canopus. Because again, he has a wicked attack stat as well. A couple of them. But this should do. Alright, uh, to rhyme. Actually, you know what? To the Warren Report. This is the sort of node where there's probably a recruitment option. Maybe not. That's basically how I've discovered every like interesting off-the-beaten-trail thing in the game thus far. Is just traveling everywhere on the map every time there's a story node. Usually it's related to a piece of dialogue, though. Oh man. West Curtain Wall or South Curtain Wall? The Swan. Oh, they're all the Swan. Okay. Uh. I think I like the look of this a bit better. This is going to be the one defeated, defended with beasts. I just know it. Hmm. Hoberum's been performing admirably lately, has he not? Actually, I have an interesting idea, too. Diewold, welcome to the team. Or should I say, Swordmaster Diewold. I was seriously thinking about going Dragoons, but I wanted to do that sort of grinding off camera, and wouldn't you know it, Really, Atachi? I thought he could use, uh... His two-handed swords. Cannot use. So a Swordmaster is actually... Wow, only two-handed katana. Okay. Suit yourself, buddy. And no ring. I got a feeling he's going to be doing really well out there. Also, his sprite really doesn't go with a Swordmaster. But if he gets experience points, that works well enough for me. Whew. This is definitely a square peg in a round hole kind of situation. Maybe I should... No, no, he's fine. He's fine. I also kind of like Kane better. You know what, we're gonna scratch that. Maybe that was just a waste of a class mark. It was. Uh, but we'll bring Kane instead. Uh, by popular demand, someone was asking that I berserk the berserker. And they're really good. Pretty good, anyway. Nice. Yeah, he's a few levels below, but I think he'll hold his own. The attack stat is close to 300. We'll bring him along and hopefully not need him. The second mage is definitely plaguing my conscience. Yeah, no, we're gonna go with Chamos, and let's just double check things. Don't let Denim die, vanquish the enemy leader. Okay, let's do this, everybody. This is a nice change from other similar games like Final Fantasy Tactics, where you don't know what the objective is going in. Mercure. Whoa! As it turns out, this guy we encountered thinks he's going to beat us. Not sure how I'm going to get up there. I mean, we could try getting... Uh, Canopus to go one on one with him. Also, a bad news, everyone. Hollums. Oh goodness, that's actually not too bad. Not sure what I want my first move to be. Not in the literal sense, in the more figurative one. Enjoy this theme. It's uh, the Dark Knight theme. 
Not like the Batman kind of Dark Knight. The kind is that is uh, in this game. Either way, it's fantastic. We enjoyed it a lot in our last... Or, not even our last hour-long battle. And of course in the opening scene as well. Which seems so long ago now. We'll pl take a little risk moving our mages this far forward. I was all operating on the assumption that uh, we'd be able to set up the blockade now. Okay. What can we do? Okay. The good news is we brought a second mage. And it's probably going to be a very important thing. Okay, his uh, attack is going to be blocked, but... Importantly, we can at least get a little damage in there. I don't know if maybe bludgeoning weapons will work a bit more effectively. Definitely not piercing, though. I thought we had a pretty good balance. I mean, we've got some hammer wielders, although I guess I did cut Voltaire. Uh, who's gonna be our superstar? It's tempting to buff one of the mages, but often that doesn't actually help that much. I think we'll go with consistency here. Denim is still overall the most valuable unit on the team. Well met! Alright, Canopus may be a little bit out of his league. He's like a really good character and all that, but... To thine own self be true. One damage, okay. One damage, cool. Cool, cool, I love it. Sorry, I don't think we've seen that uh, incantation recently. I should have read it. I live in remorse. Plus one! Beautiful. Now the good news is we only actually have to dispatch the leader, but I'm going to operate on the assumption that he's roughly as tough as Oz was. Okay, time to see if we can do anything against these golems. I want to drop all of them, <laughs> quote unquote, quickly. Got a feeling that a, a missile spell is not going to get through. The only bad thing is I don't think we've got the two mages with the same element, which is kind of useful if you want to double up on one. I mean that in every context. How long till Falkart gets a turn? Uh, soon enough is the answer. So we can establish our blockade with Denim at the center. And we should be able to protect everyone back of it. Uh, these sorts of movements might create trouble, but I'm going to count on her evade to deliver her. And actually, if we moved Kane, hmm. Curious thoughts are forming in my mind. So. If we moved Kane to the middle, we could get, like, an interesting use of Berserk, actually. So, food for thought. Hmm. This guy may just have better magic resistance. Perhaps a different sort of attack is in order. 100%, you say? A 
I'll take this option. Fantastic. <laughs> it's a hilarious sleeping posture. Ah, he favors the dead posture. Hmm. I mean, I could go for the warrior, but, uh... No, by caliber school of thought, he's probably useless. Definitely less dangerous than the Berserk in terms of overall melee strength, anyway. I think those are male Swordmasters coming at me. It's kind of hard to tell, though. We don't have the angle. Courage, friend. Who's now taking increased light damage. Wait, are these guys... Warlock. Hmm. We uh, have that unlocked. I just haven't bothered to do anything with it. I'm not 100% sure why he can't just advance. I guess we just heal Canopus with him. We gotta get Sistina out of the way then, because it must be uh, an aura that's causing that. Oh, she's about to act next. Might, might as well. The tower? Alright, I'll bite. Not really sure which direction he should face after that. Vitality, sounds good. Maybe that'll make the next blow hurt less. So one of the knocks on uh, Valkyries slash rune fencers is that they fight well in the early game. Bludgeoning! It's coming from a huge level deficit as well. Good for him. One of the knocks on Valkyries is that they don't really keep up with the other classes as the game progresses. And uh, I'm kind of seeing that. Alright, Kane. You're our guy. Kane, Kane, he's our man. If he can't do it, it's probably because he's underleveled. But we should give him a chance. That's not a joke, it's all sound. I guess we just keep heal oneing away on uh, Canopus? I mean, he's basically the tank in this fight. Hawkmen seem to have slightly low vitality across every class, it seems. Ugh. Eighty-three percent chance of hitting, and we didn't get it. But that's okay. That's entitlement luck I'm talking about, or entitlement probability. The game owed me nothing. I should not have counted on the hit, even with the good odds. I should plan for things going wrong. Or at least have a plan that can survive it. Speaking of survival... Oh, it's their stupid aura that's locking her in the position. That's alright, there's lots of targets left to shoot at. Yay! Hello, Hilda. Hope that doesn't mean our friends were slaughtered. Building a mystery. Sure, let's try it. I also hope this doesn't wake him up. So they have high resistance to magic in some respects, but very much not in others. 
For some reason, I thought I was facing a guy named Ethelred recently. So, bummer for him. Perfect. I wonder if we can drop him just in time for the next golem to arrive. I should have meditated. Oh well. He typically can't sustain a meditation cycle indefinitely, so it's not exactly a wasted turn. We need to get Sestina a turn so she can move! Even if she uh, like falls down dead, we're actually no better off. Because of how those auras work. They've bottlenecked me in a very clever way. Probably more through coincidence than anything. Sorry, Canopus. These things happen. We also have access to his finishing move, which I might opt for. So we could drop one of them. Slumber shot enough? No. But maybe sleep. Perchance to dream. Hard to say no to a direct kill. I don't want to get hit with Paralytic Wave and have a repeat of the debacle that happened with uh, Falkert in the last one. So he has enough tech points to use Berserk, but we can't move to get into a useful spot for it. So I'm just going to wail on him. Nice. So, if you pick your target really carefully, oh, he might get hammered with arrows soon. That won't be cool. Ugh. On a couple occasions, I've mentioned things like, eh, my team's accuracy is pretty good. It's starting to get to me. Uh, Canopus is going to get arrowed like crazy. You might need to be careful with that. Oh no. That attack is so good and like, have we even damaged that guy much? We just had enough tech points to do that. Yeah, take the booty, I don't care. A little nervous to put her right on that spot. So we're gonna do this so Sestina can hopefully do something offensive with her turn. She might be able to get the kill using a level two spell. Ooh. Or it might not even be close, who knows? She's, stand she's got dual aura coverage right now, but that's okay. I'm hoping this hits him. Lots of reasons why it wouldn't. Perfect. Kind of want to hold on to that HP infusion a bit longer if possible. Also, a uh, curious choice of pink for that soldier's garments. I know back in the day it used to be associated with manliness, but I mean... It ain't no blue. Hmm. Yep, a kill is a kill. I will be having more controversial statements later on.
All right, I think I, uh, I think I'm gonna end this one here. Um, situation seems relatively under control. I think we have enough time before this guy gets here and the unlimited waves of reinforcements. <laughs> and we'll see how it goes once he arrives. See you in the next episode, everybody.